The department's teaching approach I enjoy because it, it gives you a, a kind of a good mixture of things. So you start with your lectures. They use a lot of like interactive resources, especially in lectures. One of the lecturers used something called Socrative, so you like log in on your phone and you can answer to their questions. There are like clickers, so you've got like different answers that you can say. And then you have your workshops, which are more sort of your classroom vibe. They're a good hands-on approach where you can test your knowledge and see if everything that you've learned in lectures you can apply and solve problems with. And finally, the best way to test your knowledge is in tutorials, which are small groups of people directly sitting down with an academic. And I think this is the best way that Warwick does the teaching because at that level you really know if you've learned the stuff or not. And there's always like someone in there who will be able to try and answer your questions. The professors are brilliant. They teach you in a way that even if you don't understand, they help you afterwards as well. So you're never alone and that's what I love about it here. All of our theory curriculum is uh, presented on our virtual learning environment. Not only that, but lectures are recorded if you've missed a lecture or for revision purposes. You get a variety of teaching experiences, but this is the best bit for me, the practical chemistry. You come into a lab and it might be unfamiliar to them and they can just start to enjoy mixing things together, making something, eventually making something that no one's ever made before and they hold the world supply in a flask. That I get a kick out of and it's nice seeing other people get a real buzz out of that, especially if they've not had a chance to experience this sort of thing before. At work you do labs in years one, two and three, except if you go on the international placement then it replaces labs in year three. And they're a great way to apply the skills that you've learned in lectures to more of a real-world application. The support in labs is good because you'll have generally a group of six to eight supported by a PhD student or a demonstrator as they're called. And then there'll also be academics walking around and then the lab technicians walking around who are always there to help and answer questions. I don't think any school was able to offer that much support in terms of laboratory work. And then also we do computational labs and you're working on the computer and building up some computational molecules. In the computational labs we go through a variety of different bits of software depending on the computational lab. So in the first years we'll use a piece of software called MATLAB. In the second year they'll be introduced to a completely different bit of software called VMD which we use for simulations and uh, visualising simulations. So it really allows students to get hands-on with different bits of software, completely new to them at the start of the day but by the end of the day they're much more confident and it's really nice to see that transition throughout the day and that's a really rewarding way of teaching.